Hello, Red Raider fans, and welcome to another Red Raider football contest. This is not Gary McNeil. And this is Keith Smith. And we're coming in here to contest at Jonathan Order. Both teams are coming in at four and three. Do you have any uh, thing that you checked out? Normally you have time to check out. Well, norm normally we do take a look at common opponents. Uh, Jonathan Alder just scraped by Madison Plains 8-0, and Jonathan Alder also beat West Jefferson. So common opponents, uh, same score, same kind of outcomes, basically. Yeah, and both teams, uh, usually this game dictates whether uh, Jonathan Alder gets into the playoffs. So Jonathan Alder definitely is out here to win this game. <laughs> Pioneers coming through their little cone. They got all the little league teams and everything out there. I'm having a little trouble with my microphone right now. Yeah, hey, it looks like Jonathan Alder's got all the different age groups of their Plain City Pete youth football programs out here. So, pretty neat way of getting the kids involved. You see, they're excited to be on the field. Carl, see if you've got yours. All the way up on PITT. Click it past the PITT on the right side. Right to this. Or the PTT. And now we see London coming across the parking lot. Okay. Getting ready to run through the big Red Raider sign. That's that sign that was made up. I did that for a while. That's amazing. Especially for the London Red Raiders. Both teams have come in at four and three tonight. So this ought to be a pretty good matchup. Both teams, like I said, have common opponents. Both teams beat common opponents. Uh, yep. So, um, well, yeah, when you look at this matchup on paper, it is does look like it's going to be pretty close. Um, you know, every time it's a county rival, like this, you got to take in the intangibles, you know? Things like it's a full moon. Right, yeah. It's Friday the 13th. Oh, wow. Gary's got his lucky underwear on. Yeah. <laughs> the clean ones <laughs> for a change. So when you're talking cross-county rivals like this one, it's been pretty heated the past couple of years. I'm looking for a good ball game tonight. I didn't catch it, but um, they, they're using the NFL uh, microphone on the, on the official out there tonight. So the announcements might be made. And you'll probably be able to hear more with PA system, what his calls are, whether it's encroachment or offside or whatever. I think London's uh, won the toss, and they deferred to the second half. Jonathan Alder chose to receive, so London will be kicking off from their own 40-yard line here. Can you by any chance hear me, Carl? Have you got your volume up? I know you can hear me through there, but I can't hear you talking. Uh, let me see what, what's um, yeah. We do have um, 84 on the kickoff team. That's Ed, uh, Edley. That looks like Sean Myers to kick off. 83 Josh Page and number two Kyle Adams back for the Pioneers. That's Page coming up. He's finding a wall. He's got one. He's got a run the outside. He's got up to the 40, to the 45, and he stopped at the 51 yard line. <laughs> the 51 yard line. Ball will be down at the 49 yard line of the Pioneers, of the, of the London. Looks like Meyer and Dickon in there on the tackle. So. Nice run back by Page. He's not even in our program, so I don't know where he came from. Who's that guy? Yeah, we don't have any Okay, London getting their defense set up from Alder comes out in the double wide out and throw eye. Looks like Tyrese lined up a middle linebacker tonight. Quick hitter up the middle. And he picks up about six yards on that run run there. That was number that's 41, Eric Eric Allegri on the run for, for the Pioneers. Looks like he picked up five, Gary. Good run by um Allegri. Never seen London with their 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 uh, newly formed defense with uh, playing Dusty Jones in a down position and uh, move Tyree to the uh, middle linebacker position. Second man through, nothing doing. He's caught in the back, and he's going to take a loss of about two yards. Number 
Yeah, it looks like number 30, Wes Lovejoy, the senior, the senior on the run there for the Pine, or the sophomore on the run there for the Pioneers. I didn't catch who made that tackle that time. Yeah, I got the pole right in front yeah. of us. I don't know. We got the old London field here, the pole. <laughs> this is going to bring up third and nine. Pioneers could be in a passing situation. I understand Loy, their quarterback, throws the ball pretty good. Well, he sets back, he sets up, and he's got a man quick. open. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, that was six points. That was six points off the line. Sean Kaiser, the tight end, which he wishes he had that ball back. <laughs> he just scooted out past number 25 for London, Wasmuth, and he, he, he had an open field. That was a very sim simple pattern. He just... Yeah. And boy, boy, put it right there. So the ball was right in his hand. So uh, they can chalk that up to a missed chance of six points as they go back to punt. Looks like uh, Myers and 18 Wheeler back there on the return at the uh, dark end of the Jonathan Alder Stadium. And we get a good punt. It's going nice to go. Punt. Really? It's going to fall dead on about the four yard, three yard line. What a punt! That ball took a bounce, and I think Wheeler thought it was going to go, out, go in the end zone. And yeah. it took an older bounce and come back, and then London's going to be shoved back to about the three yard line. That was, that was number nine, Loy, the Jonathan Alder quarterback with the punt there. So that was about a, yeah, about a 46 yard punt there. So good field position for the Pioneers. Not, not such a good result for London. Yeah, and that's usually what this game against the Pioneers is about, is field position. Couldn't ask for a better punt than that, could you? No. It's like London's going to start out in the regular pro I formation. Wheeler to the top side of your screen. Got a quick hitter. I'm probably Laney. I couldn't see who was. Um, yeah. Looks like Laney. He might have got a yard, but he's pretty much stuffed by the Jonathan Alder defense. Yeah, there's at least four or five tackles on him. B.J. Laney on the ball carrier that time. Well, B.J.'s had, I think, three 100-yard games in a row rushing, so he's kind of turned his season around from a slow start, so he's uh, putting it together here in his final season. I believe season. Bates is in on that tackle that time. I got the match and pressure with me, so I'll steal some stats from him from time to time. It's Dickon throwing to Laney out in the flat. And it's good for maybe about two or three yards, but it really didn't fool anybody. He took a lot of time getting control of the ball. The ball was thrown high. He had to well, go up and get it. I'll tell you what, a, a long throw to the wide side of the field like that is kind of almost a gamble, yeah, yeah, down here at this at this junction of the, the field. So it's gonna bring up third and looks like three for London. So third and three and uh, Edley comes in the game. Edley's worked his way up to some varsity playing time. Interesting thing there is Wheeler's checked out, so looks like we're going to have a two tight end formation for London. Hand off to um, Laney. Laney, and he's good for move the change this time. Uh, look like tackle there by Paul Harbage and looks like Sean Kaiser for the Pioneers. We are um, at the 8.50 mark in the first quarter. First and 10 on the 17-yard line, and uh, we have no score yet. London was pinned back up to about the two-yard line. Well, this is kind of a new wrinkle for London. They're actually putting Tyree in motion in the slot position. Edley's checked in at, at the tight end, so. Tyree runs that motion play. He's been, he's been doing that. Remember me talking about him almost knocking the quarterback down? Yeah. And what he's basically doing, he's coming out and setting up a blocking situation to uh, open up a hole for the ball carrier. So that was Laney that time with the carrying the ball. Yeah, he led Laney around the bottom of your screen, London's right hand side. So picked up, looked like seven yards. Seven, so it's going to bring up second and three. Second and three for the Raiders. Now they're going back to the two wide receiver format. Wheeler to the top of your screen, Myers to the bottom. Quick handoff and he slips and falls. That's going to be good enough for a first down, Gary. That's Willard. That was number 45, Willard. 
When you say Willard, it sounds like Wheeler. <laughs> That's Willard. Harvey's made that tackle that time for the Pioneers. So far, London's moving pretty good. They got a first and 10 on the 28-yard line. Yeah, I can hear you now, Carl. Okay. That's first and 10 for the Raiders. Dickens still under center. Ooh. And he is met by a host pack of nothing doing. That's like a nice hit by 60. might have picked 60, up a yard or two. 66 Kyle Cutler in there on a big hit. Kyle Cutler in a beautiful smack at top. Thank you. Okay, we got a second and nine on the 29 yard line. Looks like a single back formation here. Yeah, we can just about know who's going to get the ball. That's going to Laney on the top of your screen. He cuts it back to, toward the green, the green and uh, we might get a yard or two out of that. Bring up a big Open third, down, really big third down play for London here. Yeah, they got a nice That's drive. Third and so nine. Go ahead. Third and nine on the 31 yard line. There's still no score, and we're down to uh, third and seven. Uh, we're down on, under right around eight minutes to go in the uh, first quarter. No score. Got Tyree to this side this time. Across the middle, he got some room to operate, and he makes all the way up to about the 44-yard line before he's or 40, uh, about 46-yard line, and they will move the chains. You know, nice tackle there by Kyle Adams, number two, and finally brings Wheeler down. But nice route by London, bringing Wheeler across the middle. We haven't seen that a whole lot this year, especially on the short route. It kind of surprised me because the way they had um, Tyree set up, I thought they might go to him. Of course, they had quite a distance to go to get that first down. We've got a first and 10 on the 47-yard line. London has once again moved the chains. Yeah, London's picked up well over 50 yards on this drive so far, so. That's Willard up the middle. Quick handoff. First man through. Nothing doing. As he's met by a host of tacklers. It's like 66 Kyle Cutler and 44 Paul Harbage in there. Like I said, both teams are four and three, so somebody's gonna come out with um, a little better record tonight. <laughs> what do you think? Well, maybe five and three or four and four. Dickens sits back. It's a quick throw as, who was that, Wheeler? Little Wheeler. Wheeler comes in and then makes a turn right to the sideline and he's picked up right away. And num number two, Kyle. Kyle Adams on the coverage again there for the Pioneers. It's going to bring up third and five, so this is going to be a big play here for the Raiders. See if they can keep this drive going. Third and five, and there's still no score. We're in the first quarter. Looks like Edley and Myers is checking in, so. 4.30 to go Looks in the contest. Looks like we're going to see. We're in the first quarter. Looks like we're either, either going to see a two, two, two tight end formation here. It looks like London's going to take a timeout to work on this. Take a timeout and think about it. And I, you may have heard um, the official. Well, Gary, I got it on some reliable information from the uh, mother of a cheerleader that uh, the seventh grade London won pretty big over Jonathan Alder here last night. Really? And Jonathan Alder won the eighth grade game. Is so that right? That's about as reliable as information as I have. So. <laughs> seems like it's pretty much been going that way with the seventh and eighth grade. Seventh grade seems like they're having a pretty good season. I think they got one loss and one tie. So eighth grade's not been uh, nearly as, as uh, productive in the win column, put it that way. So we're uh, third and five as London comes out of the timeout. 4.21 to go in the first quarter. No score. Looks like Meyer's a little unsure Meyer's exactly uh, where, he's, sure supposed where he's supposed to be. Like you said. 
Oops, yeah, I belong on the other side of the field here. Look, look for Tyree to come into motion toward you. And he's got he's pretty close to getting a motion call on him. Yeah. Flag down on the other side of the field as Tyree reaches out, look like with one hand. He's signed at the higher stage. Is that right? Yeah. Well, it looks like we got a procedure call against London here, so that's going to, if Alder takes it, it's going to bring up third and ten, or they can take it a fourth and five, so I think Alder's probably going to decline this penalty. London sending in the punting unit. Here comes in low. And they're using a, a pro mic on the um, official out there, so he's making the calls. They'll, they'll look at procedure London, fourth and five, so like you said, Inlow's going to come in to punt. Looks like number two, Kyle Adams, and uh, number 13, Steve Swope, back deep for the Pioneers. He's just far enough back to uh, land the ball in a good spot. Nice ball to turn him back. It's going to take a outer bounce going toward the sideline. Out of bounds on about the 15 yard line, I believe. It's like Matt Russell down there on the coverage there for the Red Raiders. So we are 4.05 left to go in the first quarter. There's no score. There's been a punt from each team. London was able to move to about 55 or 60 yards before they had to punt. Now Salter's turn. Salter had the nice kickoff return and then really couldn't amount much yardage on their first possession. So let's see what they can do here from their own 16. It must be, I'm going to see who that is. That number nine must be Donnie Nicky. Looks like it might have been knocked down and we got a flag. And I'm not so sure that uh, they know what London, who's the flag against? Well, it looked like it was Walsh. against Walsmith cover, covering Kaiser out there for the Pioneers, but I was impressed with the way Lloyd throws the football. I mean, yeah. he brings it. First and ten on the 31-yard line. They look for, I don't think you see him on your screen, but number three, Nikki, at the bottom of your screen is in single coverage out here, so that's been a combination for the Pioneers all year. Yeah, if he can run anything like his brother, he'll have trouble catching him if he gets his hands on the ball. But nobody catch, catch uh, Donnie when he was playing against London. I think they ran it up about 60-some to, uh, yeah, to he, 10, I think it was. He ran wild. Wes Andre's block here at that time. And Tyree was in on the tackle. It's going to bring up second and 11 for the Pioneers. I'd like to see you get a scholarship. Baseball is a better program. I saw a little bit of baseball last year. I think he's a quarterback. I think there's some. There's Lloyd back to pass. He's looking for Nicky. Middle. He's, he's, he's trying to get loose and he's nothing doing. He doesn't quite get back to the line of scrimmage. It's like, he's uh, brought down by Tyree and uh, Jordy Jackson and Dusty Jones in there. Kyle, are you picking up any voices besides ours? Is it coming out very clear? Okay. That's going to bring up about third and 12 for the Pioneers. Look for Lloyd to go into maybe a rollout on this. Straight drop back. He's looking for number three, he's Nicky. And he's a catch. He dropped it. Oh, he dropped the ball. Nice coverage out there, there by Nicky. says it feels like there's some interference there. Nice coverage by Dickon out there for the Red Raiders. That's going to bring up punting situation for the Pioneers. Uh, Loy showed us last time he can get a foot into the ball. Let's see if he can uh, help out their field position with another so, nice punt. 
233 to go in the uh, first quarter and still no score. Nice rush coming. Oh. He got a good punt and it's it's uh, it's got the nose down. Wow. Wheeler falls down on the 18 yard line. So once again, London's mistakes are shooting him in the foot. That was about a 53-yard punt there by Loy yeah. with no with no return. So. That nose points down, buddy. You got you got a good sprawl. You got a good punt going for you. Well, London had about yeah, that's what we said. Uh, about 55 yards total offense on their first possession. So let's see if let's see if and most of that was on the ground. So let's let's see what happens here. Was it 29? 29. Trying not to be too loud because we're picking up everything y'all said on TV. Got penalty flag thrown on London. Who's the ball carrier that time? That looked like Laney. Laney, the ball carrier. That looks like that's going to be a procedure call against London. Um, We'll know in a minute because the official has a mic on. That's motion, but I didn't I didn't see who went in motion, so. Well, I wish I had a replay on that one because I didn't see anybody go anywhere. But. Well, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Carl said the coaches saw somebody move. Couldn't. Okay, we got Dick and Under Centers. Uh, double double backs. Bring up first and fifteen for the Red Raiders. Dick and is back to pass. And it's thrown away. There's no way that ball is gonna be caught by in low. <laughs> bring up second and fifteen for the Raiders. One thing he did though is he threw it away from the defender. <laughs> If the offense we couldn't get to, there's no way the defense was going yeah. to take it. So we got uh, second and 15. Ball's on the 14-yard line, and we're down to 202 in the first quarter, and there's still no score. Looks like Wheeler to the top side, Myers to the bottom side of your screen. Tyree in the bottom position. There comes Laney. Laney's got her. He's got a lane, and he's going to move the. Uh, he's not going to move the chain. Might have picked up about seven yards. Uh, that looked like about a 12-yard pickup, but it's still going to leave him a little That's short, right, short of the first down. Back in the hole with 15, aren't we? Yeah. Still going to leave him short of the first down, so it's going to bring up third and four for the Red Raiders. What's the call, Coach? Run a play. <laughs> that, that's about the best call you could have made. London sets uh, Wheeler to the near side. London's had pretty good, to the wide side. pretty good success with, with uh, Laney off tackle here. Right? Wouldn't surprise me if they run it to the top side of your screen. Looked like there was there some it motion is. there. It That's wasn't. first down for the Red Raiders. It wasn't caught, but I, I knew I seen most people in motion that time. When you, when you run to the tight end side of the field like that, you got one extra 280 pound blocker out there, so that's kind of predictable, but you know, the whole thing is with that is here it comes, we're going to do it. Yeah. Just pick up your yards, get your first down, and. Now stop it. So we're down under a minute to go, and um, first and 10 on the 30 yard line. Going to use the same formation Dickens, Dickens back, he's, and he's going to be sacked. <laughs> Nothing doing. It's like number 50, Chris Clapman in there for the Pioneers. It's probably a loss of about, from where the flag is going, a loss of about seven yards. So that makes it um, second and 18, loss of eight yards according to the, the scoreboard. Come we up. don't have a score, we're down to under seven to almost into the first quarter, there's no score. Nothing will get a playoff before the quarter goes off. That's an option play to Laney. And we got another slide. Looks like they're going to call face mask. 
Chris Clapman back there for his second sack in the last three plays. So that's going to end the first quarter. Evidently, the receivers were pretty much covered. And then Dickens slipped trying to get set up. That ends the first quarter with no score. Carl's hunting for the scoreboard. There it is. <laughs> so we end the first quarter. London will start the second quarter, third and 30. Huh? It looks like a crooked scoreboard. <laughs> Go out there and straighten it up. <laughs> see, if you can get, see if you can get a good shot of the full moon over there, Carl. Beautiful night. Yeah, it's Friday the 13th, so anything can happen. Might get too much glare off the light, though. Moon straight ahead. Oh, the pole might be in your way. Yeah. Where was the Londoner out playing tonight? And here comes the full moon. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? You know, I, I uh, had had Red Red Raider man Seth Ray into the into the paint store this week and oh yeah, uh, talked to his mother and so you told you sold him some paint. Yeah, he's he's using makeup. That's, that that, that's red red Halloween makeup that he's using. Thank goodness that way he doesn't have to scrub it off his skin <laughs> like uh, he would if he put paint on there. So, but he says he really enjoys that. And he said he said uh, didn't get cold against Lakewood. Huh. I mean, I'll tell you what, if he didn't get cold, he must have fire in his veins. Cause yeah. It was darn cold last week. So we're looking at uh, third and thirty on a ten yard line. And Pioneer's defense has held up pretty good tonight. I'll tell you what, London come up with a big pass play here and still come short of a first down. Yeah. Not like down there in the country. Formation. And nothing doing. He might have picked up about three or four or five yards, maybe. You know, you don't like to question the play call in there, Gary, but what, what odds are you got of getting a first down on running, running the quarterback keeper up the middle when you got third and 30? I think he was trying to get more room for the punter. Yeah, well. Because <laughs> the punter would have been in the end zone. He's yeah. still going to be in the end zone. He's going to have count on end low to get, get off quite a pun here. Or, or the Pioneer is going to take over with excellent field position, probably in London territory. I remember the last time we did a game up here, most of the game was done. Oh, that ball was thrown. That's, that's a safety. Clean out of the end zone. It's like B.J. Laney, the snapper, just fired that thing way over top of Josh Inlow's head. So that's going to cost the Red Raiders two points. So now we do have a score. With 11-18 to go in the second quarter, we have a safety. London was going for a punt, and the ball was centered. A pass. They've been having trouble with that uh, long snap. And this is BJ's fourth year of being a long snapper for the Red Raiders. 
Oh, he, uh, I didn't know he was a snapper. As a freshman, he was even long was snapper. He? <laughs> Until he got hurt. But, but then, nevertheless, I mean, somehow or other, it must just be a little mental block here because it's, yeah. it's been a constant thorn in London's side. So. You know, I always thought there used to be a rule that if the center picks the ball up, it's a live ball. But I've been watching most of these centers when they do that, they pick the ball up and they act, they snap, they actually throw it. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of, it's kind of one of those ones that they kind of just let slide, but they well, what would happen if somebody was quick enough to jump on that ball when they pick it up like that? You know, I think it's a legal play if they do. That's if what they, I'm wondering. They just, I'm going to check that one out. If you pick it up to throw that long snap back, uh, you slap it down as soon as they pick it up. I would think it'd be a legal move. You have to be awful quick. Yeah. So London, London, London's going to punt from their own 20 here. They got the option of either kicking off of a tee or using the punter. It looks like they've chosen the punter. The main reason they do that is just for the the fact is that the punter can get it down the field with a little bit more height so he can get better coverage. So, so we have a score of two to nothing in favor of the Pioneers. Enlow gets a good hang time there. It's like 83 page back there. And then nose down and gonna get a... Now that's a live ball. That's, that ball's gonna go clear down too. That's just like a kickoff. That's a yeah. live ball down I there. I tell you what, I believe if you left that low, it would've went in the end zone. We're gonna have a return here. Here comes Page. Page comes all the way back to the 20-yard line. Nice. So he didn't lose too much, but I'll tell you what, the ball looked like what it would in the end zone anyway. A little miscommunication there from Kyle Adams and Josh Page. So thank goodness he finally picked it up and uh, brought it back a little bit past the Alder 20-yard line. Micah Stokes and Jordy Jackson on tackle there for Red Raiders. You got a beautiful punt there, and once you, anytime you got a spar on the nose is pointing down, you're going to get, uh, it's going to go your way. Well, London, for the most part, shut down the Pioneer offense. Uh, Pioneers take over first and 10 on the 21 yard line. That's Loy back to pass. He's got plenty of time to throw the ball. But his receiver's worst. Pass was intended for Nicky. But um, a little short. Dickens out there on the coverage that time. Well, London's gambling with single coverage on the receiver, so they're not giving much respect to the Jonathan Alder passing game, and I think that might come back to, to hurt him. I mean, Alder's proved that they can throw the football. Quick hitter up the middle. That's number, let me catch a number here. It looked like Jordy Jackson on tackle. I couldn't, I didn't pick up who the ball carrier was. Collegary, your ball carrier. Jordy Jackson, we haven't heard his name too many times so far tonight. Not too much. What we got here, third and nine on the 22 yard line, so they've picked up one yard so far. Yep, looks like a passing formation. Trips receivers, the bottom of your screen, and that's where he's looking. He's got pressure from Jackson. And he's Lloyd he lets her fly. Long. And I'll tell you what, if uh, Nicky would have kept running, I think Nicky might have given up. If Nicky had kept running, uh, there would been a score there. I'll tell you what, I was impressed with Lloyd. Look the way he threw that football on the run like on that. The run. That's going to bring up a punting situation. He had the Nicky pioneers. out there, but I, I got a feeling Nicky, from what it looked to me, looked like Nicky didn't think he's going to throw it. And Nicky looked like he slowed up. Maybe he didn't, but that's the way it looked. If he kept say, running, I believe he'd been a touchdown. I'd say the London defense kind of slowed up too, so. So we got uh, fourth and nine. Lloyd's punted the ball pretty good so far. Oh, that's a, he only, he only took a, a half goal. a, he only took a half a kick at that one. I don't understand. I think he thought it was going to be blocked. Well, they were in there pretty close. It may, it may have, it may have been Brock Peter stretched out on it. So London gets the ball back, and they will take over first and ten on the 45-yard line. We've got about ten minutes left in the second now, half. We'll make it to 42. I think it's a World yeah. Series game, two to nothing, Gary. Yeah. Team 
so far have shot themselves in the foot on either missed passes or miscommunications. Well, London's controlling the ball game as far as statistics. He's good for about seven, maybe eight. Adams was doing that tackle that time. I've been hearing her name called a lot tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, Leonard comes up. We got a second and two on the 50 yard line. Weiss to both sides, power eye, pro eye, whatever you want to call it. Dickens back to pass. He's looking for Wheeler deep. He's open. And he's there. And it should be a score. Touchdown. Touchdown, Wheeler. 18 Wheeler. Now you better get out of there before he gets in trouble. Get called for over celebrating. Both teams seem like they're running pretty much the same play. Because uh, um, Alder run the same type of play. It just weren't successful with it. Now we have a score of 6-2, pinning extra point by Myers. Well, Myers lined up to kick the extra point into the woods. And we got a timeout London. How are we doing on timer, Mr. King? Okay. And we're down to uh, 916 to go in the first half. And London is setting up for it. I think they might be trying to decide whether they want to go for two or not. I see Myers got off the field. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're trying to get one of those points back if they lost that. It's like Carl's picking up a nice crowd and come from London for the ball game tonight. Of course, next week, senior night. The uh, our seniors playing their last home football game, special pregame ceremony, so everybody tunes in for that. Everybody comes out and see it. It's like London is decided to line up and go for two. Dickens under center with three in the backfield. We got Laney sitting way back. He follows Dusty Jones in for the touchdown. In, 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 for for the, in for the score. In for the score. Makes the score eight to two. Yeah, talk about your Buffalo package there. I mean, they just lined up a guard, Dusty Jones, in the backfield and yeah. as a fullback and just followed him into the end zone. So, nice call by Coach Calhoun. So, we have a score of 8-2 to two with uh, 9.16 to go in the um, second quarter. Carl's having for the scoreboard again. It's right in that area, Carl. There you go. Looks like somebody ran into the scoreboard with a car, maybe. It's kind of, kind of, kind of tilted. Tilted sideways. <laughs> no, what really happened is... I think is it's an optical illusion. The press box's side is tilted. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he does that, we slide one win in and he straightens up. We slide back to the middle. So London will be kicking off. Sean Maher sets up to kick off. We have a score of 8-2. to two. London score coming on a long was that pass play? A 50 yard pass play to Wheeler. I'd say London's got well over 100 yards total offense, and Boulder's probably been held to less than 20. So this is pretty nice to have the Mass and Chris up here, and he's doing stats. And I just slip over and get some information from him, and we could kick it out of bounds. It'll come up to the uh, 35 yard line. It's kind of nice having that public address announcer down there on well, the field. Well, it saves the people up here in the press box from having to look at the card and see what the, what he's calling. You. you know exactly what they're calling because they're making a call from down there. He gets it right. And see. We may not get it right, but he, whatever he said, yeah. So we got a first and 10 on the 35-yard line. Got Nicky wide, wide left. And we got a quick hitter the up the middle. Back. In on that tackle was Jackson and um, and Laney. 
They use, they use that fullback dive quite a bit. Mainly, I think, set up their passing plays. So. I'd when, be impressed with this announcer because uh, she's not only doing her own announcement, she's spotting too. It's like Loy under center. They're going now to Allegri kidding. again. And he's not going to come down with them unless he gets two or three yards. He's a Woody Hayes type ball, but how big is that young man? Yeah, we don't have any sizes listed in the program, but I'll tell you what, he he uh, put 71 Mike Coyle on his back, so <laughs> Allegri did run hard right there, boy. He sure did. You take a 250-pound defensive lineman down, put him on his back, you, you hit him good. He's a pretty solid-looking kid, too. It's going to bring up third and one for the Pioneers, so big play here. I look for a fullback again. Of course, we have a score, like I said, of 82 right now. It's like and a quarterback boy. keeper. Oh! They tried to pass to Allegri that time. Broke, I couldn't. Broken up nicely by the number 18 Wheeler there. So. Was it just broken up or did Wheeler have a chance to catch it? Oh, had me blocked off. Yeah, I couldn't really tell. It looked like he just barely got his hand around in front of it. So. Okay. You know, you don't expect your, your safety to be making that play. Uh, it seemed like a linebacker should have been covering him, but good thing Brandon did step up there and make the play for the Raiders. We got a fourth and two, and so uh, Pioneers, I think, are trying to make up their mind where they want to go for the two. And well, one thing to remember, Loy, the punter, is also the quarterback, so so they don't they don't shuttle in a whole lot of people when they put their punt team in, so. Tell you what, he's a long ways back to get that too, though, if he decides and if he can't, if he doesn't pass it. No, yeah, 18 wheels. Here we go. It's, it's a short one. It's a fake. And it's good. Hey, nice, nice. Good nice. first down up to about the 48 yard line. Nice pass there by the backup quarterback, Race Robinson, down to number 83, Josh Page. So. Uh, Instead of snapping to the regular quarterback who's at the punter, they snapped to the backup quarterback who's at the fullback position. So I wouldn't have expected that one if I was London, I don't think. I, I kind of feel something was up here, but I didn't know how they were going to do it. Not a quick hitter. Allegri, the fullback again, and Tyree, and might get a yard. In there, muscling him down. Got Tyree in number 71. That's Coyle, Dusty Jones, Jordy Jackson. He's almost a gaggle there. Almost a gaggle on that tackle. We're down to uh, 7.33 in the second quarter. We still have a score of um, 8 to 2. I've been very impressed with Loy when he's rolled out of the pocket a little bit. He does have a strong arm, so. He's got a beautiful play there. He hit Jordan Brock in the back. Brock didn't have a clue the ball was coming, so if that ball would have been thrown over uh, over his head. Well, Loy, Loy was looking for Sean Kaiser, number 36, but Sean Kaiser wasn't looking for Loy. <laughs> so. It's going to bring up like about third and eight, so a big play for the Pioneers here. Passing situation. Number one, Warsmith at the top of your screen. It's like number, it's like Nicky at the bottom of your screen. And he gets loose, Let nothing doing. They went, they went to the fullback draw there, and Mike Coyle, number 71, hit him and stood him up and made the big play for the Red Rivers. I'll agree, makes that run, so um, we got a fourth and five. Coming up here, another punting situation. Ball's on the 43-yard line. We still have a score of eight to two. Yeah, I think with the London on top at this point. Yard line they're on, and with the foot that Loy seems to be able to put into the ball, I'd look for him to try to cor cough and corner one of these. Position they're in right now, it's hard to tell what they might do. Looks like he's going for the far corner over there. Nobody there for London, so nice punt. And he's going to get it out of bounds on about the five-yard line, maybe. Like maybe even yeah, about the five. So this punter's doing his job, and I'll tell you that he's had one land on about the two, and that one there goes on about the five. Couldn't ask for best punting. You know, any better punting situation like that, where you know they might be going for a coffin corner, it doesn't make much sense to put a, a short up man on your receivers and, and a deep man. You should split those two back there and try to at least cover the corners. 
So we're looking at a first and ten. The ball is on the five yard line. It's like Tyree in motion for the Raiders. It's like Laney. And Laney's good for about five yards. He makes it up to about the 15 yard line. Kaiser in on your tackle and Chris Copper. <laughs> That's second and six, second and five. School board says second and six. Carl. We just lost our monitor, Carl. Well, we'll keep calling this game. We can't tell if we got technical difficulties or not. That's Laney coming up the middle. We just lost our monitor down here. You still got one up there? <laughs> Check the plug in the back. Uh, we don't have anything. Okay. Well, it looks like here okay, in the booth, check it. we're without the monitor, but we keep calling the game. It's a third and six for Red Raiders, so Dick and under center, so that's Laney. Laney's got some room. He looks like he's got a first down, so nice run. Tackle on the play by number 45, Paul Harbage for the, for the Pioneers. Here we got it back now. Okay, we're back in business. Technical difficulties are behind us. That's a nice big first down there for the Raiders. We've got 4.51 to go in the um, second quarter. We have a score of 82. First and 10 on the 18-yard line. Tyree in motion. Looks like the pitch following Tyree. Delaney's Delaney. following Tyree. I don't know what that play had, how that play designed, but I was looking for Tyree to take a, a little more action on that play. Looked like he just really made a bump and stopped. <laughs> Well, one thing about any offensive play is it, is it takes everybody. You can't have one man miss his block. And we have a timeout in London, and we have a score at 3.55 mark, and the clock's still running. They said timeout. The clock must run off about four, sec four or five seconds there. And uh, we got second and five on the 23 yard line. Good to see the official was right on top of that. And he's uh -huh. got a microphone down there to tell him what to say to that. So we have a second and five on the 23 yard line. Eight to two is still the score. Lennon sets up in pro eye. We had some movement on one side of the line. Looks like Laney trying to fight for a first down there. Looks like he might be a little bit short for the Raiders. Looks like he might have picked up uh, two or three yards that time, but not enough for a first down. Kaiser and Harbage in on the tackle that time. And we have another timeout. So this is a timeout. They're going to run and change out. About oh, 3.41 to go in the first half here. Is that good? Is that going to make a key? Uh, I think they're short. I don't have much of an angle on it from here. Yeah, and they got the ball covered from the TV angle. Looks like we might be short by about a foot. You know, it's real important here for Red Raiders to pick this up and uh, try to get down for a second score here before the end of the first half. Yeah, we got 341 to go in the first half. It's third and one on the 33 yard line. And none is not sure what they want to call. Well, they don't have any timeouts left, so they're going to have to put a play on. Looks like they're going to go with the two tight end set. Wheeler to the bottom of your screen. Brandon Edley and Tyree lined up the tight end positions. 
Quarterback sneak. And That's a quarterback first sneak. First down. And that was a pretty slick play on Dickens' part. He goes back and talks to his backs. Makes it look like he's going to, from here, Change I guess. the play, maybe. And Dickens moves the ball, moves the flags. Change will move his first and 10 on a 30-yard line. I think we've had a first and 10 on the 30-yard line quite a few times tonight. Well, the Raiders have been moving the ball. But... <coughs> Eight to two is the score. We're down to 3.06 to go in the second quarter. <laughs> Looked like it might have been a change in the play. Looks like Dickens going back to pass. He was looking for Wheeler across Dickens the middle, but he's, he's covered. He's run out of bounds. It's like nice hit on the play by Allegri, number 36. Or that's not Allegri, that's Kaiser. And he might be short about two yards for three yards, two yards first down. Looks like he might have picked up seven and a half yards that time. You know, Josh was just kind of out there on his own. Uh, probably wishes he had a few blockers coming out there to help him, but... Well, he didn't have anything. He's looking for somebody to throw to, and there yeah. was nobody open. Well, we had two, two tight ends set, and Wheeler was the only one downfield, so there was nobody else even out in the pattern for him. Wheeler had so three men on him. He got eight yards on that, just second and two on the 38-yard line. Oh, definitely a nice pickup by Dickens. Quick hand off to Laney, he's hit hard, he comes off, bounce off one tackler, he picks up the first down and also picks up seven, eight yards. So that'll make it first down on the 46-yard line, first and ten, and we have a score of eight to two, London. We're down below the three, two and a half minute mark now. It's like London's come out with it's like Wasmuth and Myers to the bottom of your screen. It's like Wheeler on top of your screen. Or that's Laney on top of your screen. And the ball was knocked down. It's like number 13, Steve Swope made a nice little bull rush in there from his strong safety position or defensive end position. It looked like Dickens tried to pull the decoy on uh, 18 wheeler out to the opposite side and then swing one left to uh, Myers on the inside to the near side of the field and it wasn't pulling anybody on the Alder team. <coughs> What's Alder playing there? 4-3? Well, second 10 with time run down in the first half. I'd definitely say it's a passing situation for the Red Raiders. We got a little over two minutes to go in the first half. Dickens slides back, hands off to Laney, and Laney is good for about four or five yards. I'll tell you what, good credit there to to uh, Dusty Jones and and uh, Kyle Thomas leading the way there around the right hand side. So the ball's going to be set down on about the 49 yard line. It'll be third and five, and we are 148 to go in the second quarter. Eight to two, London. You know, 148 seems like a lot of time in pro football, but in high school it goes pretty quick. So, I think got London's going to have to put the ball up in the air. Wheeler to the near side. That's the Wheeler. It's over his head. Oh my! I don't understand these. These passes are nowhere near the target. Well, I think the Jonathan Alder head coach had his hand up and almost called a fair catch on that pass. <laughs> it looked like it did. <laughs> And I know Wheeler wasn't going over in that crowd to get the ball. There's too many dark jerseys. So we got a fourth and five for Red Raiders, and we had Inlow back to punt. And we got, who we got back here? Number, is that well, two? They've had uh, Kyle, Ad Kyle Adams and Swope deep. Well, it looks like Page. Inlow's not back very far, is he? It's another high snap. He makes a good play out of it, though. Fair catch call by 83 Page, and then he's hit by Jordan Brock. So play. Why would he hit him? Yeah, I just don't think Jordan quite had his head up and didn't see the signal because he was kind of around on the side. So hey, he's a sophomore. I think chalk that one up to experience for Jordan. Yeah. Maybe maybe he made that mistake now and won't make it the next couple of years. We just, Carl just got through saying that uh, Inlow better back up some. 
Sure enough, he had to make a, about a 15-yard leap in the air to catch that ball. Yeah, he did look like he was only back about 13 yards in the, and normally a punter's back 15 from the line of scrimmage, so. Uh, he was back, he just, that, that, the center's just being thrown. It's all, it's all back 15 yards. So we got Pioneers taking Looks over. Looks like London better get ready here. Here comes the Pioneers. 122 in the, might, in the half. Might see the Pioneers two minute offense here trying to get on the board. They're down eight to two right now. Boy's got the arm. He's back to pass. He's looking for Nicky over here on the bottom. And almost and intercepted by, by Scott 45. Willard. Scott Willard. Nicky's tall and skinny, looks quick though. He gets out there in the pattern and Lloyd throws it hard. But I think they're going to hook up before the night's over here. John Nicky has a brother playing for Ohio State. Like that's a handoff to Wes Lovejoy, the and Jackson, Baltimore. Jordy Jackson in on that tackle. This Jackson can sort him out, buddy. So we're down to, uh, right at a minute now. Third and eight for the Pioneers. Score still eight to two. I'd say they're in two down Nine. territory here, so I think you'll see two, two alter passing plays here in a row. They don't connect on the first one. It's like Loy's back to pass. Pressure by Tyree, he's scambling now. And he's got some room. He's going to make Jordan something Brock. out of nothing. Number 25. Yeah, finally brought down by Wasmuth and Laney and Jordy Jackson, number four back there. And the Pioneers want a timeout, and they still have 36 seconds to go in the half. Trailing uh, eight to two. That's a pretty good run there by the quarterback. Yeah, nice run. He had everybody spread out. I think none was in a prevent. Seems like a pretty good athlete there. I mean, he, he kind of picked his way right on through the way. Do what, Carl? <laughs> well, he'll just have to play like that. So we got... Um, Timeout Pioneers. We are in the second quarter. We have 36 seconds to go in the second quarter. London leading 8 to 2. Pioneers have first and 10 on the 39 yard line. I don't know if Alder's got any kind of a kicking game or not, but. That's a long kick there. They're going to have to oh, get yeah. a lot closer than that. <laughs> going to get a little closer than that, huh? So I guess you would uh, more or less play to the sideline. They got double doubles to the left, far side. Yeah, well, Warsmith and Nicky going on the high side of your screen. Watch the tight end, 36 on the bottom of your screen. They've been throwing to him every once in a while. Hand off to Lovejoy. And he's pretty close to the first down. Nice run by Lovejoy. He grabbed that ball and took off and run hard. And once again, Jordy Jackson saves the day because Lovejoy was on his way. Going for pay dirt. We still have a score of eight to two, and there's 30 seconds left in the uh, in the half. How are we doing on time, Carl? Oh, you're like Carl's picking up some of the crowd here tonight. Nice crowd, nice beautiful evening. Yeah. Uh, two, four, and three teams going at each other, cross-county rivals. I guess this is what high school football is all about, huh? What'd you say, Carl? Okay, we're good. Actually, okay, we're back to live action here. Looks like Alder sending three receivers out. Trips, trips to the top side of your screen there. Look for a little trickery. Nikki and Paige out there. Looks like they're looking for Paige. Oh, he's wide open. Oh, he's, he's all wide, wide open. Up. 
Touchdown, Holder. I think I could have hit him on that one, Gary. I think so. Lovejoy, 18-wheeler was in the area, but it just wasn't close enough. And Holder takes the lead. Um, well, they're tied up right now, 8-8. Boy, I don't know if you can pick that up on television, but from up here in the score in the in the box, you can just watch that play develop. It was pretty, pretty play by the pioneers. Yeah, I think we only had two people on covering three people. Ball's down, it's up, and it's good. And Alder takes over the lead. 9-8, we got a flag on the play. It's like the quarterback, Loy, that kicks the extra points, too. So, not only the punter, the kicker, he's the quarterback, and he probably parking cars before the game got started. Yeah, and he also <laughs> plays the point guard on the basketball team. <laughs> Does he really? I don't know. Oh, uh, <laughs> Carl State plays in the band at halftime. Playing the solo. Points good, and the uh, penalty be assessed on the kickoff. Yeah, not going to be much time left here. 24 seconds left in the first half. 24 seconds left in the first half. This is something I never understand, why they put the scoreboards on the same side of the field as the press box. The people in the press box have to climb out the window to see the scoreboard. I'm not sure he's not. Those scholarships Most schools do that. London has theirs that way. So we have a score of 9 to 8. Alders has the lead. They'll be kicking off. We have 24 seconds left in the uh, first half. Apparently that wasn't a real bad penalty because it's only been assessed five yards. So it's just running into the kicking kicker as opposed to roughing the kicker. So. But uh, first time we've seen Alder kick off tonight. Say what? Are you kick from 40 or 35? Yeah. I just got a message to watch the onside kick. What do you think? Well, I'll tell you what, the middle of the field wide open. If I want to try the onside. Big gap there between, well, you can't see it, but between and a five coil and... Uh, Was it running into it or roughing? Right? roughing. That's 15. Yeah. It's just called running into it. Right? They're changing it. Oh, they're changing it. Well, you see now, there, I said before, there's a difference between running into the kicker and roughing the kicker. But you know what? My math tells me that that's not a 20-yard penalty. If they give him 15, that ball should be at the 50, not at the 45. So kicked from the 40. Kick from the 40 in high school. In high school. Oh. My bad. <laughs> Looks like that's 15 yards that on. Looks like going to put it on the 55-yard line, Gary. Ball is set down on the 55-yard line. <laughs> <laughs> My math tells me it's on the 55-yard line. We have a score from 9 to 8. I agree. I didn't want that trip. Yeah, this might be a good opportunity for an onside kick for the Pioneers. Might be worth a try. Well, uh, they're going to go for a field goal. It's like Jordan Brock's going to run it out of the end zone. Yeah, got, um, what? He so, can't run out of the end zone. Uh, I'll tell you what, that's a new one on me. I didn't know that. Yep. You just so. didn't see the ball go. We're we're that's right. We, we get a lot of new rules up here, aren't we? A lot of new yeah. rules up here. No, you can't run out of the end zone in high school. Uh, well, I didn't realize that one, so that's a new one on us. No. That's going to bring up 20. Apparently, the clock didn't start on that play. Very seldom you get anybody kicking the end zone. Now. That's right. I'm going to clear out the press box and get some fans up here that know the game. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you get your, nose, your voice on TV. 20, 24 seconds left to go in the first half. You guys get Warner Cable up here? It's like Wheeler down to the bottom of your screen. It's like Myers to the top. It's like they're just going to go with Laney off tackle. He gets a nice run. And they're going to be happy just to give him that first down. Brought out by Kyle Cutler on the tackle there for the Pioneers and Harbage. So we got the clock still running. We're down to 16 seconds. 9 to 8 is the score, and we have official timeout. I think they're got, saying... Got a player hurt. Number two, Kyle Adams limping off. <clears throat> well, I think they're 
think London coaches might have been arguing that the clock should have been stopped while the change was set. That looks like Myers out there. In the half, just one went out of bounds. Myers went out of bounds. So one more play left for the Raiders here. <laughs> Carl called for field goal. <laughs> if he hit a field goal from here, they'd, uh, they'd be calling him right up straight from the, to the pros right now. 16 stitches. Yeah, which way? Turn around and kick it to the other goal. I look for Alders. Alder's got one safety playing about 35 yards, about 30, 25 yards off the ball. Dickon goes back to pass. Look for him to have trouble keeping enough time. He's got time. He got. He's throwing way too deep. That's intercepted by. Looks like Nicky. He's out of bounds. Out of bounds. The clock will run out the first half. We have a score of 98. Don Alder on top. Stick around, folks. We'll have some band action coming at you. Maybe I can steal a few stats from the press man here. Contest show, including Skid Row, Mighty Dunn on tenor saxophone, Somewhere That's Green, with Brian Blair on trumpet, and Suddenly Seymour, featuring Sarah Riedel on mellophone.
1964 and possibly the most influential musical group stormed America. Tonight, the Jonathan Alder Marching Band will perform the music of the Beatles. We begin tonight with I Wanna Hold Your Hand. in I Saw Her Standing There.
the girls' John Nauter um, softball team has won the outright BAC championship team. Dishonor them. But we had, during the band selection, uh, we had a power failure of some kind. This is Friday the 13th. Um, we uh, had some halftime stats, but the lights went out. It's not even Halloween yet, but it was pitch dark in here. And they have this type of lights, and it takes a little time for them to warm up and come back on. I can give you some rushing stats for London. Uh, B.J. Laney had 14 carries for 90 yards. Uh, Josh Dickens had two carries for 11 yards. And Willard had two carries for five yards. In the passing area, uh, Dickens was six for 10 for 91 yards and one for an interception. Um, receiving with Wheeler, three uh, catches for uh, 75 yards and one touchdown. And for John Alder, who just come back on the field, warm up. London's coming back on the other side over there. For Alder, we have Allegra rushing uh, six times for 19 yards. Lovejoy four times for nine yards. And Loy two times for 19 yards. And then passing at one. Seven and 28 and one TD. So there are some stats that were given to me from Dave Biddle. So we're getting ready to start. How much time we have left uh, on this tape here, Carl? Say start it over. <coughs> so what you have you don't have a clue what we might have? You think we've got that much? Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. Okay. Uh, the power kicked off up also in the press box here, so we um, I'm not sure how much time we got on the tape. We'll play it by ear and kind of keep an eye on things. We are getting ready for the second half. We have a score of nine to eight. Jonathan Aller's leading. Um, for some reason, all the lights went out. Like I said, and all we had was a full moon and a little spotlight that they made uh, good use of. They put the softball team down there and honored them. So it, they turned like a negative into a positive. Yeah. Somebody was thinking on that deal there. It's like the officials going to give them a little bit of extra time for warm up here. Yeah. Extra long half time. So. I want to thank Dave Biddle here with the Madison Press for the stats you give me, the halftime stats I ran off to you. And... Uh, so we have a 9 8 game, one point difference. He's the man. <laughs> Scores coming at um, two point, what, what do you call that, touchback? Uh, what safety, do they call that? Snap, safety. Snap out of the end zone. So. Uh, and the ball was uh, centered for a punt and it went out of the end zone. So uh, Alder scored on that and London come back and scored on a 50 yard touchdown pass play and then scored two points, and then Alder comes back and scores a touchdown and then one point, which gives them um, seven and two, nine, and then makes it, makes it nine to, uh, makes it nine to eight. So, um, got a good shot of the crowd. Not sure which crowd that is. Is that London? That's Bought that in pretty good. I don't I don't know how far in the digital we got on that, but that brought it in pretty good on here. So we're getting ready to start the third quarter. And we have a good ball game going here, a real good game. Dickens has had a good year so far. He'll probably be over a thousand yards if he isn't already. Oh, throwing the ball. Not Dickens, but Laney. Oh. Yeah. I meant to say Laney. Well, Laney's going for his fourth hundred yard game in a row, so. 
Actually, I think uh, as of last week's statistics in the Columbus Dispatch, he had 800 and some, so two games to go, he should be a thousand yard rusher for the Red Raiders. I think everybody wants to go out there Harris's mark. I think Harris was averaging over 200 yards a game when he was running back a few years back. <clears throat> I don't think we've had anybody do that. Well, when you look at some of the numbers that Mike Harris and Fred Lester put up for the Red Raiders, those things are way out of this league. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, they they had uh, some excellent lines working with them too. Oh, yeah. So it was a total team effort. That was a, a different era of London football. That was uh, definitely a state powerhouse. So uh, Alder will be kicking off, start the third quarter. We have Brock and uh, <coughs> Myers back. Was that two sophomores? Yep. Two sophomores back. And let's get ready to play some football. to Brock. He takes it at about the 14 yard line. And he brings the ball back up to about the 29 yard line. Got both hands on it and was able to keep it. No fumble there. That's a good sign. London will take over first and 10 on the 29 yard line. We are starting the third quarter. We have a score of 9 to 8 in favor of the Pioneers. Well, I think in the first half we saw a lot of what we expected out of London with a lot of off-tackle runs to Laney. And but the only thing we did see was a little bit of quick quick screens out to uh, the wide receivers in the flat. Yeah. That was kind of a different twist and one pass to Wheeler over the middle. And Laney takes a quick hitter up the middle there and he's good for about four or five yards. Keeps padding his his stats makes it uh, give him about two yards on that I believe he's second and eight so I'm going to have to the top of your screen wheeler to the bottom Tyree lined up in a slot Goes in motion. Dickens back to Pat. Oh, he, no, he's Laney around the left-hand left, left -hand side. Play nice tackle by Jason Gingrich, number 78. I've been watching Tyree, and I'm trying to figure out how they're actually using him. Well, for the most part, they've been following goes into motion they've been they've been running to the side that he's going to motion to however that time they kind of used him as a decoy and went the other way. He made a peel back block then but um, I don't know it just doesn't seem like they're using him like uh, it's like now they we got a two, tight end, two tight end set with Edley and Tyree in there. Dickens in trouble. He's gonna throw it out of bounds. And it's caught by number six on the sidelines. Give that boy a hand. <laughs> Justin Roselle, he's not in the game, but uh, he's got, he showed the coach he's got good hands. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Yeah, he's a sophomore, and he did he did show pretty good hands on that. I don't yeah. know if the camera picked that up. But Dick and rolled out, and there was just no place to play out there. He had too so much London, pressure on him. London's in a punting situation. we got a fourth and six. Kind of on wind. the 34-yard line. Wind, wind's not much of a factor tonight. So. We are in the third quarter, 9 to 8. And a good snap. Then he gets a decent punt. It's like it's going to bounce. It's going to take, take the wrong bounce. Took an older bounce. That ball is backing up when it comes down. Seemed like he got off better punts when he got uh, bad snaps. No, well, he had about yeah, he, had, <laughs> he had about a 35-yard punt there, but then that ball backed up, so he wasn't quite ready for that good snap to land right in his hands. Okay, so Alder takes over first and ten on the 43-yard line. They also have the lead, nine to eight. 
You know, most offense alders really showed us tonight. It's either a fullback dive, Allegri, 41 up the middle, or seeing Lloyd <coughs> drop back to pass. So, Quick hitter 40. up the middle. That's a fullback, Allegri. He got five yards, so looks like it's working for the Pioneers. Uh, according to the stats here, he's only showing like 19 yards in the first half. Six carries. Of course, I guess you must take into consideration the losses you may have. Yeah. Which, because uh, it seemed like he had more than 19. We have a second and uh, second and five. He picked up five on that time. We are on the 47-yard line. Like right, Nikki to the bottom of the screen. Willard showing blitz for London. That's Allegri again. And he'll get back up to the original line of scrimmage and maybe pick up a yard. So he's going to bring up third and two for the Pioneers. Andre, Tyree. Maybe third and one. Tyree and Corlin on that tackle that time. <laughs> So we have a third and one on the 49 yard line. Looks like Nikki to the bottom of your screen. Now's the time to buckle down. And Buddy, he had a hole and a half. Now it's like Love Joy, the tailback, going up the middle. He might have been able to get through there, Keith. So he's, he's a stand up runner and he's fast. He just grabs that ball and takes off. He kind of reminds me of Jordan Brock a little bit. Yeah. Stand up and come through the hole. So we got a first down for the Pioneers on the 43-yard line of London. And the Pioneers are leading 9 to 8. Like <coughs> Lovejoy again. Got another 5 yards. And we got, I think I saw some hardware. I don't know. I thought I saw a flag, but I guess I didn't. Looks like the Pioneers had pretty good success in the beginning of the second half here with running the football, so they'll probably just stay with it. Second and five on the 38-yard line. And we got a whistle, flags on the play. Thank you, sir. That came from the lineman, so. And one thing that I see, it, Pioneers doing is they got something working for them and they're sticking with it and that running game right now is working for them. So, That's the illegal procedure against the Pioneers so that'll set them back make it about second nine. I spoke too soon as they get a penalty on them. Like you said they're on the 48 yard line and uh, second and nine might be second and ten. It looks like got three receivers going to the top of your screen. London this time gets three guys out on them, but it's still single coverage out there. That's Allegri, the fullback. And he doesn't want to go down. He's good for about uh, three or four yards. Look like Dusty Jones, Micah Stokes in there on the tackle. So we got um, we're on the 40-yard 40, uh, 40 line, about third and six, third and seven maybe. Uh, I'd say Alder's almost a situation where they're in two-down territory here, so I just got to pick up part of this and maybe get the boys back to pass. He's going deep. That's Nicky out there. He's got a catch. He makes a catch. He goes in untouched. Uh, was that Laney on him out there? I didn't actually. I thought it was Dickon on the coverage. And you got to give a lot of credit to uh, John Nicky, the wide receiver. He just went up. He kind of, he kind of uh, done what we've seen Brandon Wheeler do an awful lot over the past couple of years, making a spectacular catch on a loft ball from the quarterback. So nice throw by Lloyd, though. I tell you what, he puts it out there. So we have a score now. After the point, after runs the score up to 16 to 8. That was Loy on the extra point, so 
So that um, first two points the guy is looking really big now. And we are into the game. 6.53 to go in the third quarter. 16 to 8. Uh, Pioneers. And uh, the Pioneers will be kicking off again. Keith? I, I, I haven't looked at the, uh, or seen Jonathan Alder in the paper so far as far as their points in their region. But, you know, if they finish this season at 7 and 3 and beat a couple quality opponents, like. You know, London, if they can manage to pick up, they don't play some of the powers like Licking Valley and Lakewood, so. Yeah, there's a possibility if they, if they get a win against like Washington Courthouse, with expanded playoff format, they could be in the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. All right. Call them, Call them. Okay. Good thing win this ball. Yeah. And there's still a lot of time left in the game because we still got just under seven minutes in the third quarter. And they are leading 16 to 8. Back deep for the Red Raiders is 32 Jordan Brock and number 12 Sean Myers. That looks like Myers going to bring it back for the Raiders. He's up the middle. He's up. He's got room. He's got one man to beat. He's got to beat Lloyd. He's, He's got to get some speed. And he was looking for another breakaway and he goes all the way down to the 45 yard line. And he's capable of doing it. He ran a, a touchback, touchdown back, a run back for a touchdown up at uh, Licking Valley. I'll tell you what, that seam opened up quick. You can see it real good from up here. I think our camera got a good angle on that. Yeah. Ball Arbage, number 45 for the Pioneers, ran him down. So Lennon will take over first and 10 oh, on about the 37 yard line. So that might have bought a little life to the Red Raiders team. Well, I'll tell you, I watched Coach Calhoun all year, and a lot of times when he's got a chance to get one big play, he'll go for another big play right after it. So I look for London so deep here to really. He's got single coverage out on the top side of your screen. Dickin on the run. Dickens trying, he's fighting, and he will not go down. The whistles blow. And he's good for about five, four yards, maybe five. I think he might have been looking for a pass play, but there's nobody yeah. to throw to. I think, uh, you know, I don't know if London's coaches pick up on that, but, you know, Wheeler's had, had uh, single coverage out there, and his man was almost 15 yards off the line of scrimmage, so, you know, they got to look at possibly using a slant pattern to get him the ball. Get him one-on-one -on -one out there with his cornerback. And we got uh, official official timeout. I think Dickens might have been a little shaken up. We're looking at 6.01 to go in the third quarter. 16 to 8, Pioneers. Second and six on the 33-yard line. It's like Laney around the right-hand side. He's still pushing, keeps his feet moving, but it's still nothing doing there. As they move the stick about two yards. Well, I think they gave him a pretty good spot there. I wasn't quite sure he got up that far, but that's going to bring about third and one. It's a long one. Yeah, it's a long one. The scoreboard says third and two. Yeah. This could be a crucial play right here. We are in the third quarter. It's like Laney. And I'm not don't think he's gonna make it. That's gonna be close. First oh, they called it, they didn't even call for change. So we got a first down on the 26 yard line. 5.05 to go in the third quarter. Lennon brings Dickens and um, Enlow into the game. Hey, Oliver continues with single coverage on top of your screen to Wheeler, right? You just don't defend an all-Ohio wide receiver like that. Yes. That's Willard, 
about maybe maybe got a yard. What you run into in a situation like this is you're looking at a possible all Ohio wide receiver, but you're not looking at the line he had last oh, year. Oh yeah. And um, that little quarterback, he um, was able to put the ball where he had to put it that they had last year. Java Meyer could, could okay. put the ball where it had to be. What a little bit less experienced and you're right, he hasn't had nearly the time. You know, last year's line was uh, pretty incredible. Outstanding line. Stop by the block stand on the way. Okay. But Laney. Laney. He gets down to the 20 yard line before he's brought down. So that gives him about a pickup of about two. Looks like Harbage on the tackle for the Pioneer. I am. Well, it looks like it's going to bring up third and four. Third and four. This is where you out climbing. I just went and looked at the clock. Clock yeah. on it. I don't know what, what to predict here, but I think they're going to go with a little bit of a, a notched backfield with Willard out here. He's going down to the bottom of Wheeler, he's going. He gets shoved out of bounds on about the uh, five yard line, I believe. Looks like it should be a first down, though. I can't tell where they're going to spot that ball at. I'd say it's first down, so we're going to have. Uh, now they're going to spot it on about the 10 yard line. From here it looked like it was far. There's, there's three or four lines down there. Yeah. Must be for um, soccer. So we got a first and ten on the ten yard line. Yep, first and goal. Looks like one that goes to a split backfield. Dicking back the pass is going to Myers up on top of your screen. He's going Myers in. finds him a hole and sneaks in. And comes right back with a score, which makes the score now 16 to 14. London doesn't have much choice but to go for the two. Those were two plays that uh, he worked out great. Yeah, it looked like they saw something. Uh, I talked about the older defense being awful soft on the receivers, and so they, right there, two different plays. They they picked on that softness from the cornerback position. Hit hit Wheeler with one, so going give, for two here. Give Matt much room. Looked like we had a man in motion. Laney's going in, untouched, no flag, and we have a tie ball game. Tie ball game at 16 all. So we are in the three minutes to go in the third quarter. We have a score of 16 to 16. This looks like it's going to boil down to who wants it the most. <laughs> well, you got to be impressed by the character of the Red Raiders there to come back, and uh, you know they were got down by a touchdown and come right back down the field and got the nice kickoff return from Myers, and then he was able to take it on home. I haven't seen, I mean, I've seen moves like that out of Sean, but that was that was a slick little thing on the it outside was. there to get the touchdown. He he put the juke on two different guys and yeah, took it home. It split the split the scene there. I was listening to this 50-50 winner, and I was thinking about um, up at um, Licking Valley, they had uh, <laughs> one for over $1,100. Yeah. And we'd get a $100 one here. It just, it just, just it makes you wonder how in the world they do that. London kicking off. Myers gets under it. He's going to be taking it about the 20 yard line. Looks like 83 page. He's got some room. And he's got some wheels too. A nice tackle by 69, Micah Stokes for the Red Raiders. All the way back up to about the 35 yard line. Well, you got a second. How's the uh, Little League doing? Are you got some. Well, we've had a couple good ball games. Last week we had uh, probably more scoring than I've ever seen on a Sunday before. We really? had uh, 33 to 28 ball game, and then we had a uh, I think we had a 28 to nothing ball game. So seen a lot of offense. Normally a pretty defense dominated league. So it's been it's been fun. Weather's been good. This Sunday ought to be great. That's good. First and ten on the 35 yard line as Alder takes over and the score is tied at 16-16. 
16 on, and I'll tell you what, he ran into Tyree, and he decided to lay down. Go 21 and Tyree 22. and Laney doubled up on him. Yeah, it looks and like when the lady said he was met, he was met. Yeah, looks like London's been, uh, they've been sneaking Laney up almost into a linebacker position. He guessed just right on that one. He come up and filled that hole nicely. We got one out to both sides this time. It's like Nikki's on top of your screen. Now the quick handoff inside. Big fullback. He might be good for yard, yard and a half. I'll tell you what, I'm starting to see London play with a little bit of enthusiasm here. We haven't seen this in about three weeks. Yeah. Well, at that last score, it kind of pepped him up. And I've seen some good sportsmanship there as Laney helped up the fullback from the other team. That's good to see. I actually, at number 64, I think he might be on that and that on end on that tackle. <coughs> 64 is that Gandy? Marcus Gandy was in. He just went out of the game. To bring up third and eight for the Pioneers, so could be in a passing situation. No, no runners in the backfield. That Allegri falls down. He drops it. Oh, the one official. One official signaled a lateral, the other official signaled incomplete. So we got pass. a call here. Oh, I think London got homered right there. The umpire in the offensive backfield signaled lateral, and the line judge, who should be not as much in control as the umpire, signaled incomplete pass. So. We still have a score of 16 to 16 with 135. That should have been the umpire's call there. I don't understand. A minute 35 to go in the third quarter, and Alder is punting. Boy gets off the squiver, and Wheeler's going to let it go. And it's going to be another beautiful play inside the 20. Ball, ball rolls dead on about the 14 yard line. It's like about a 58 yard punt there by. By Loy, so he may not be kicking him so far in the air tonight. But I'll tell you what, he's been—he's getting a good roll. He's been getting a nice roll out of him. I know he's had at least two of them over 50 yards. So, what do you get there, Mr. Madison Press? I got, I got 49 yards. 49 yard. I'm sorry. I guess I didn't calculate. I ran out of fingers and toes. We should have a. This just get more confusing every. So now we're looking at first and uh, 10 on the 13-yard line. London takes over, scores still 16 and 16. We are 123 to go in the third quarter. And I believe that's B.J. Laney. Well, Laney carry that time. Laney's definitely got over 100 yards rushing tonight. I think that's his third ball game in a row for that. So. Evidently, somebody doesn't like the charm. They've threatened to tow it about four times now, so fifth time's a charm. <laughs> and we got uh, second and nine on the 15-yard line. Dickens looks passing. wide. And Wheeler's caught as soon as he catches the ball. I tell you what, that's a risky proposition and that's for the Red Raiders. a risky man. tackle. Because he, uh, that'll twist your body up pretty bad. Brandon's not getting up too quick. Well, I think you got to use that play to set up another play, and basically what they've got to do is flash that short pass this next time and then find another receiver further on downfield. That's been pretty ineffective so far. That, that, yeah. Got a third and nine on the 15-yard line. Big play here for the Red Raiders because if they're going to be forced to punt, they're going to be practically punting from their own end zone. So it's like timeout London. We have a timeout London. Yeah, we just got word from our cameraman who he thinks he's correct. I don't know. He said they London had sent in the extra player into the huddle, so it's going to either be a legal substitution against London or it's going to be uh, called have to call timeout. So I think they're better off regrouping their troops down here. Yeah, we probably 
Did you look at senior dominant class? We don't have any. Well, we, last play of the third quarter. Here. Yeah, we got four seconds. Four seconds to go. Third and 15. Well, the flag's basically dead here, so London really gains no advantage by by trying to punt. I'll tell you what, this is an odd formation by London. Oh, we got third and nine. I was thinking it was in a punting situation. So. Last play of the third quarter here. Dickens rolling out. Doesn't have much time. That's Wheeler on the catch. Yeah, and we got a flag on the play. It looked like a possible face mask. Yeah, I think they're actually going to call number three, Nicky, for a push in the back on the, on the interference call. So it looked like kind of a bang-bang play to me, but looks like it's going to go in, go in favor of the Red Raiders. I don't think it is. Okay, go ahead. I'm on, I'm, I want me to? First and 10 on the 31 yard line. How, how'd we all, oh, we got that pass from Wheeler. Well, I'll tell you what, well, the penalty there helped the Red Raiders, so. Looks like Dickens going back and back. Oh, he's getting rushed. And it was nearly picked oh, off. Wheeler fell down and looks like, looks like number, number two, Kyle Adams just about had the pick going for the touchdown. That's had been at least three or four chances that uh, uh, Alders had to to make, pick the ball off like that and then didn't well, two, capitalize on it. Two things happened for the Raiders. First of all, you know, Dickon had extreme pressure laid on to him by number 10 on the rush on Bates, so uh, on the cornerback blitz, and then, and then we were, Willard. So we're going we're going into the um, fourth quarter now, and we have a score of 16 to 16 to start the first quarter, fourth quarter, and we are first and ten on the 31 yard line. How we doing? How's it look like on time, Carl? Have any idea? Okay. So London comes back up. Start the uh, fourth quarter. We have a score of 16 to 16. And. Uh, it's been a pretty evenly played match. Very evenly played ball game. At two points, London got cost him. Uh, could make the difference in this game. It's like that Willard up the middle. He's got the shot middle, and he's going to get too good for the first down. I'll tell you what, Scott runs hard. He may not be the fastest player, but I'll tell you, he grabs that ball, and he just he runs like a bull. He makes like the most bull. out of every situation because he doesn't get a carry that often. Usually he's a blocking back. So. Yeah, and he doesn't get enough credit for his blocking either. I'll yeah. tell you what, Scott, Scott is a hard blocker. And he's not afraid of anybody on the football field. He did a good job on that time. Breaking a hole and getting the first down. So we're at a first and 10 on the 44 now. 16-16 is the score. Dickens holds on to it. He decides to keep it. Uh, he's wishing he pitched it now, boy. A lot of black yeah. is on top of him. He kind of got eight alive there. Well, he I mean, usually gets that pitch off. I think I, Coach, Coach Calhoun's probably realized here a lot of ball game left to play. If they can ground, grind, grind it in on the ground, if I can say that. <laughs> What you gotta do, Keith, is you gotta run north and south. Huh? Yeah, all oh, you're right. East there. and west didn't get him anything. That's right. And it's hard to say whether he could, if he got the pitch off, would have did any good or not, because they were covering their play pretty well. It's uh, second and nine on the 45-yard line. Tie ball game, 16 to 16. Dickens back to pass. Looking for Wheeler. He's got Willard. He's got Willard. Willard's good for the first down. And he's gone. I can't so help but get excited when I see Willard just plow into somebody yeah. out there. He wasn't going out of bounds. He was going to take somebody with him. That's right. And he did, too. That was a good uh, option there on uh, Dickens' part to be able to look off Wheeler 
and see that he was covered and he was also being rushed from the same side so he's able to make the turn and make the play to Willard but we have a first and ten now on the 38 yard line it's like Laney up the middle trying to cut it outside we got Laney with about four yards on that carry there Six yard run that time. And we are looking at uh, 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Tie ball game, 16 to 16. Second and five on the 34 yard line. Clark London's going to send Wheeler to the top of your screen, Myers to the bottom. Another hand off the lane, and he's met at the line of scrimmage to his second effort. Turns that into about a four yard gain out of a, looks like nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Kept his legs moving. Second effort, so we're going to have a, about a third and two now. It's like third and Four short. Two. They're going to measure, I think. But yeah, they like are. Short. They're well, looking at it. Here comes the chain gang. It's going to be close. Hey, we can see it this time. Got that. Everybody's out of the way. It's got it. London's first down. First down Raiders on the 29 yard line. First and 10, 9.42 to go in the, uh, in the ball game. As the official signals us play ball, London comes up to the line of scrimmage. White outs to both sides, London's in the power eye. Their normal formation. Dickens under center. Looks like Willard, looks like he's only going to get about a yard. He's either a little miscommunication or somebody missed the block up front there. Because Willard ran into a wall. Well, London's had a lot of success running the ball here, but this is going to bring up second and nine and almost put him in a little bit more of a passing situation. Like Wheeler to the top of your screen, in low to the bottom. Dickin is back to pass. He's looking for in low. He's got room to run it. He slips. He runs. He's going to pick up about five yards and bring up third and five for the Raiders. I didn't. I wasn't able to look downfield there, but I think Glenn Low looked like he was pretty well covered. So maybe it's a good thing Dickin didn't unload that ball. I think Dickens seen the same thing. He started slipping. He had, he had nowhere to go, but didn't have any footing. So we're looking at a third and three on a 20-yard line. Tied into the top of your screen. They've been running and off the him. There he goes again. He's going wide. I'll tell you what, BJ ran that BJ's hard. Still He's up. still running. And he gets the first down. He, boy, he wards off two tacklers, and he's bought down. But not after he picks up about looks like almost 12 yards. Can't hardly really tell. So it's going to be first and uh, goal on the nine yard line. I don't think London made any bones about where they was going to go with that play. I mean, off tackle over top of the tight end with the fullback leading, and Willard got out there and made a nice block, and Tyree made a nice block, and Laney ran hard and got the first down. That's a place where Tyree shows his wares, even though you wouldn't see it, you didn't see him, you know he made the move. But there's still a lot, a lot of got a air. Buffalo package in the backfield. That's Laney following Dusty Jones. Laney coming around the same side. So that's gonna make it about second and um, second and goal. I don't know if London will leave that package in there. Looks like they did. They they uh, line up Dusty Jones at a guard, uh, normally a guard, number 54. They line him up at the fullback position, put Willard into the slot with Laney at the tailback. So, it's like they're going to go, huh? like go with their straight eye this time. Wheeler's got single coverage on top of your screen, but Nicky's just as big as he is out there. I don't know. That's Laney. Laney will not be denied. He's going in. Touchdown, Laney. 
He seen pay dirt and he went for it. That's his what, second touchdown for tonight. I'll tell you, BJ's had a couple, first. There's a couple, two, two, four, a couple runs tonight that almost looked like he was possessed. You know, he just ran hard, like right there. He wanted that end zone. He got it. And London finally takes the lead at uh, 22 to six. We are going for an extra point. Oh, oh that's good now. That was good. That was good. Good job, man. I like that. I like that. Like right, Sean Meyer's going to try to kick one into the woods here. They got something back there to, to retrieve it. He has plenty of time. It's blocked and it's good. Alder's going to try to run this thing back. Number 83, Page. He's stopping. Sean Meyer escaped, please. Apparently you can't do that. Apparently you can't do that in high school. Uh, that happened once before like this year. We uh, it was a tip pass intercepted. We got well, I'll tell you what, you can do that in college. Do that in the pros, but it looks like you can't do that in high school. <laughs> we found out a lot of things you can't do in high school tonight. Well, I found out two things tonight. One is you can't run a ball back out of that's kicked into the end zone. Right. I didn't know that. Right. Apparently now you can't run back a blocked extra point, even though it didn't go into the end zone. So, so we're looking at um, a kickoff from London. London is leading with 6:53 to go in the contest. 22 to 16. That extra point could loom pretty big here in this ball game. Very big. You know, Them two points loom pretty big. Lloyd, Lloyd seems like a pretty good kicker for Alder and. Uh, Albert managed to put together a touchdown drive and get the extra point. That might be good enough for a win. We got a lot of time left. Like I say, we're pretty close to seven minutes left in this in this ball game. Mars kicking off. Looks he like gets the foot to it. It takes a crazy bounce. Well, we're going to go to Page. It looks like Bo has got it. He's tripped up at about the. Uh, 16, 17 yard line. I think that was we'll, give it, we'll give it uh, 20. Helmuth? Helmuth, maybe. 29, maybe? Helmuth ball the ball carrier that time. Well, London's offense seemed to step up on that last possession. Let's see if their defense can put it together now and put a stop on the Pioneers. I got a wall right here. And that's what I've been looking at three fourths of the game. I don't, I don't think Alder will get too rattled here. I mean, they know they got a lot of time left. They could probably work in a lot of ground plays, but but uh, Lloyd's definitely got the arm to get them back in this ball game pretty quick. They are down about um, 22 to 16. It's first and 10 on the 19 yard line. We have 6:48 to go in the contest. We have a timeout with the officials right now. Looks like they're talking to London, so possibility could be something against whatever it was. It's over now. Got to wide out to this side to to near side field. He's got some blocker, and who smacks him? It's like Lovejoy getting knocked. Tyree comes out of nowhere and knocks him down, and then picks him up. That's that 4 H speed coming, showing up there. Well, he's he's going to make a lot more tackles with linebacker position than he did at defensive line. So, and that's primarily the reason why they moved him there. More adva advantage to the team, I think. We had a head of steam at that time. So we got a second and eight on the 21-yard line. You know, look, look, look for Alder to put the ball in the air, trips receivers to the top of your screen. He's back to pass, so Jordy Jackson gets some pressure on him, loves it, or Lloyd comes out. Incomplete to number 83. That's Page. Page. He's not in our program, so. He had a lot of pressure on him, but like you say, Jordy Jackson. Jordy's quick. Jordy makes things happen. That's going to bring up third and nine for the Pioneers, so. They got one play in their bag of tricks. It's uh, time to pull it here. They're gonna send Nikki Warsmith and and uh, Page to the top of your screen. Single man in the backfield to pull back. So we're Lloyd's, down to six minutes. Boys back to pass. He He's lets one deep. fly. He's got 
all kind of coverage back mm -hmm. there. He was, he was looking for, for Page, but there was just nothing doing on that pass play. He just pretty much out through the coverage. 22-16. So. Well, now, Loy, now Loy's going to have to get this punt off. Fourth and eight. From almost his own end zone. So, so now's the time. <laughs> what? There is a trick because now we're going to have to do it. We've we still got six minutes to go. There's still quite a bit of time left in this game. Looks like London's pretty much in a return position. It's, oh, it's that snap. looked like that might have been. That's the quarterback. He's throwing long and nobody's out there. Nobody's out there. You know what? Nice play there by number 10, Josh Dickon. He could have probably intercepted that ball. Well, I, it looked like that might have been. The key looked like it might have been a play where they weren't going to punt it. Yeah. The ball went to the same, the uh, second string, the second quarterback. Yeah, but you don't, you don't roll it back there on purpose. I don't think. I think. It and look like a trick play from here because the ball went toward the. Really? Remember the one they played run a while ago? Yeah. The ball went right straight to that second string quarterback. Am I right on that? It wasn't. Ha. I'm knocking you out. <laughs> We got a score of 42 to 16. Bottom line is, is London's got a chance to put this ball game, pretty much put this ball game away if they can put another six on the board. Dickens option, kind of a reverse to Myers. A play to Myers as he's driven down to the 10 yard line. He got driven forward. I give a lot of credit there to Scott Willard and BJ Lane, the fullback and the tailback that carried out their face very well and set that play up. And now's the time for London to score to try to put this game away. 5.38 to go in the contest. We are down to first and 10 on the 10 yard line. 22 to 16. I look for London just to run this ball up the middle a couple times. And looks like that's Willard up the middle. Willard up the middle for about three yards, four yards maybe. I think it's going to bring up second and five from the goal. So. It's like number 69, Micah Stokes checked in the ball game here for Red Raiders. He's going to line up at the guard position. And uh, 54, Dusty Jones, the guard, is going to line up at the uh, pullback position. So, Tyrese, you say we got the Buffalo package in here? Tyrese, the top of your screen. It's pretty obvious what London's going to do. They're going to go right. Well, this time to Dickon. He's going for the She's corner. It out. He's got it. Touchdown, and he's Red in. Raiders. Dickens run wide and up and finally found the pay dirt. Run the score from 28 to 16 now. That pretty much uh, puts a cap on it. I still say that was a trick play that got out of hand on uh, on that punt. On that punt. Because like, Alder was down to, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of time left. Even though there might have been a whole lot of time left, I don't know. But the ball looked like it went to the same fellow that they pulled the trick play on the fourth. Um, it's, like, it's like London. London's going to go for two here. It's like Wheeler to the bottom of your screen. In low to the top on the slant. And it's no good. And we got a flag on the interference. That was that was to Myers. I'm sorry. I thought that was in low out there. We got a flag on the play, so we'll wait and see what. I haven't heard the official's new microphone for a while. Huh? I don't know. I think he forgot he's got it on. Oh, here we go. No, all that. No, that. Bottom line is, if you're a defensive back there and you know that you're burnt on that slant plays, you might as well interfere because it's only going to cost you a one-yard penalty. Right. So. Oh, really? You guys ever see such a classy operation? Mike on the field, our athletic director, Mr. Moore, did that. Ain't that something? Yeah. I know Mr. Moore. <laughs> what I did? Mike on the field. He bought it himself. I did. Tell Tell London that they pass it. Looks like that's Laney trying to go the right hand side. outside and he took the in for the extra two. Looks like a 30 to 16 London. So we have, uh, like you said, 30 to 16 London. Just that quick, the game just changed. Well, Gary, I don't know if I'd warm up the bus yet, but. 
kind of starting to look that way. Yeah, 3016, we're down to 443 to go in the contest. I'm kind of excited here to maybe see Lloyd put the ball up in the air a little bit for Alder. He, uh, he's got a good arm. He's got some decent receivers, so he could see I, For some reason, uh, I don't see the far I seen in Alder earlier. It seemed like this that far is not there. And uh, I'm not going to say they've given up, but they've had some they've had some really good chances. They've had chances for intercepted passes. They've had chances for pass plays that they dropped for touchdowns. And London's done the same thing all year. So what I'm really trying to say is uh, we're playing a football game. Yeah. And you're going to see a little bit of everything in it. I'm not moving my car, and if they better not tow it away, then if they tow it away, I'll get me a horse and buggy. Okay, 30 to 16. And we got a squib kick, keeps on the ground, gets a good bounce. Right up the middle. And he's bought down by number 31. Who is that? For London. Who says? On the tackle? For yeah. London. Matt Russell, 31. Matt Russell. I should know that number by now. Field position there by Jonathan Alder here. So. That's a good uh, uh, touchdown saving tackle by Russell. Russell's only a sophomore this year, so you can look for a lot more football out of that kid. And he just loves to play. So it's first and 10 on the uh, 44 yard line, 30 to uh, 16 is the score. I look for London to occasionally take a little chance for maybe some blitz plays against Lloyd. Lloyd back to pass. Stokes got pressure on him. He finds Nicky out here. And he gets material. As Dickens gets material, that otherwise it might have been a problem. Yeah. Dickens didn't make a nice defensive tackle on Nicky there. He had uh, Willard out here to help him. So. What is so odd about these situations is what we got here. Personal foul. Well, it looked like that play was. Where'd that come from? Well, it looked like a, uh, on the quarterback, possibly. Oh, yeah? It looked like Michael Stokes was putting some pressure on there for the Red Raiders. I didn't see that. I think we was watching the pass, probably. Yeah, I was. Well, did they mark it off yet? That should be 15 from the spot of the foul, which actually maybe they might just want to decline it and take the play. It's going to give them a first down. Yeah. Why would you decline it? Well, I thought maybe it was they added a another on back. So. Yeah, they added another five or six yards. So it's first and 10 on the 40 instead of first and 10 on the 50. Looks like Alder's going to do a little hurry up offense here. Lloyd back to pass. He's looking for Nicky. He's out there. And he's wrapped up and run out of bounds by uh, Dickens. It's complete. You know, you've seen London put a lot of players in pass coverage. You know, you see Willard out there. Well, you're in almost uh, similar to a prevent. And we still got three, uh, um, almost four minutes to go in the contest for the score of 30 to 16 London on top. So Lloyd's going to have a field day out here. You got to put some pressure on Lloyd. He lays it out and there's trouble. Oh man, just a little bit too long or that'd have been touchdown city. Wow. Oh, it looked like he had number 83 Page out there. <laughs> I'm surprised he missed him on that one. Number 25 got beat on that one. That was Wassman. Yeah. This is here, we keep hitting that. Okay, so we're, what'd you say, Carl? Looks like Alder sends two receivers to the top of your screen, Nicky to the bottom of your screen. Third and about two, that's Allegri to pull back. And he don't want to go down. Runs like a bull. 
Picks up the first down. Alders on the move once again. They're in a hurry up offense. 30 to 16 with 320 to go and uh, Alders going without a huddle. It's like London switched time. They got it down pretty good. And incomplete pass. It's like London switched Tyree to a down lineman to try to get more pressure on the quarterback and put Matt Russell in a linebacker. Maybe he's a little bit better in pass coverage. So we're down to 308 mark. Three minutes and eight seconds and the score is 30 to 16 London and Alders on the move. Second and 10 on the 24 yard line. Tyree's back in linebacker. A beautiful pass, just a little bit too far. That's right. Lloyd's getting a little over anxious there because he's got his men wide open. He's yeah, just, he has had some men wide open. He's just not connecting there. So bring up third and ten for the Pioneers. So. We got a timeout, London. And we got a third and ten on the 24-yard line. We have, we do have a score of 30 to 16. So far, we've seen a very good contest, with the, with the exception of a couple mistakes. Uh, we've got a tie ball game, or and uh, those 30 points jumped up pretty quick. Leonard scored twice there within about five minutes. Seems like. That made everything just change the whole complexion of the game, which is forcing Alder to pass a lot. And uh, I don't know whether Lowe is getting excited and over, you know, just adrenaline pumping and he's just missing his people. Yeah, he's definitely had some men wide open. Well, Gary, I kind of mentioned it before, next week's senior night in London, so. Right. Against uh, Bexley. Bexley at home. So I guess we'll have to try to put together a little bit of a like get her, to some of our seniors who've been with the program a long time. Like get everybody out there, and then we got about not too long. We got a bond levy coming up too. We need some made boats and boys back to back. It's it's weird out. No flags and good defense by uh, look like Dickens. Dickin and somebody else. Um, uh, Laney, Dickon and Laney both back in on that coverage that time. Well, that's that's going to bring up fourth and ten. I'm not quite sure why Alder's going for the, went for the end zone on that play, but you know, because basically they need to pick up at least get the first down. They might have felt that. Um, Nikki could jump up there and make that play like he made earlier in the game, which he almost did. Watch him again on this one. That's trip receivers to the top of your screen. They're throwing it, throwing it high. Going for Nikki. It's tipped. So Wasman's got a hand on it, looks like. So yeah. that's going to bring up uh, Red Raider ball on their own 25 yard line. So, so Levin Red holds, holds on. We got 251 to go in the contest. We have a score of 30 to 16. London on top. about being Friday the 13th and uh, full moon and everything. I got my lucky London Red Raiders shirt on I just purchased. So <laughs> oh yeah? Got that from the first period junior achievement uh, economics class at London High School. So. Quick hand off to Laney. He spreads out wide a little bit. He's still on the move. He's good for about five yards. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that, Carl. Where'd you find that pin? It just, it just went dead for a while. Oh, did it? I just shook it and came back. That's going to bring up second and about six. The Raiders. Yeah, go ahead. You can have it. I got a hundred of them. We still have a score of 30 to 16. It's called out. And uh, like that's Willard up the middle. Nice, nice tackle on the play by like 66 uh, Kyle Cutler. I still like to see him get the ball to uh, Tyree one time just to see what he could do. 
see like I like seeing him be low open field just to see how far he can make it. Well, I think they've thrown one pattern to him all night. And that was that one out in the flat, which yeah, was pretty well covered. So we're down to third and fourth, 159 on the 31 yard line. 159 to go in the contest. London's up 30 to 16. So. Um, Wait a minute, let me come back. I can pretty much this over the press man left. He must pretty much got all he needed, I guess. We have a timeout order. It's like Carl's picking up some dancing twins on the other side of the field. <laughs> that might be some of your cheerleaders. From your leg. Yeah. I just thought he's looking for a blooper. He's waiting for the other girl to step out of the way and let the other one let her fall. Watch this. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Come on, Carl. We got a ball game going on here. <laughs> Eli will tell you where to go. We got Myers spread out to the near side. Tyree goes in motion, sets back, and nothing doing. It's going to bring up fourth down for London, so it looks like Jonathan Harder is going to get the ball back here with uh, about a minute 45 left to go in the ball game. Timeout, Jonathan Alder with a minute 53 left. So. We've seen some pretty good speed out of number 83, Page, the return man for Jonathan Alder. So, you know, I think if London and Inlow are smart, they're just going to try to punt this ball, maybe even run it away from him. Don't give him a chance on a return. We still got a minute and 53 seconds to go in this contest. And uh, London is up 30 to 16. It's uh, like Carl found the dancing doom over there. Fourth and six. She doesn't miss many games. I tell you what, she's an avid supporter of all, all the boys sports. It looks like Enlo's going into punk formation. Better back up. <laughs> this is the same position we guys when uh, we lost the two points. Good snap. They're going for a block. And he gets it up, but it's turning back the opposite way. Page has got some speed, but he's not going anywhere. Sean Myers says you're Myers. not going nowhere. Myers gets material. Get a hold of material and get a good grip on that material. Something's got to happen. He used his own momentum. 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 How you like that? <laughs> Shut up, Carl. <laughs> yeah, momentum to, to take him down. <laughs> so we're down to 145, first and 10 on the 41-yard line for uh, Alder. It's like Nikki and Warsmith going on the top side of your screen. Page to the bottom. They're looking for Nikki. 30 to 16. Boy's got some time. He was pressured though. The quarterback was pressured pretty much there. He had to run left and try to throw. Yeah, he left. He had some time. At first he had some time. Yeah. The pocket closed down on him pretty quick. Yeah, he was forced out of the pocket. Ball was thrown short, incomplete. So we got a second and ten on the 41 yard line. 140 to go. Like in Alder. the contest. You know, Alder might, might be a little smart to keep at least a tight end in there to block. But they're going with three wide outs. Boy, back to pass. He's getting oh, blocked and by he Tyree. Had Tyree come through there like a freight train. There wasn't no stopping Tyree that time. This Tyree is uh, already committed to Ohio State. I didn't look to see where he was lined up at the time. I think he was at the linebacker position. They, they sent uh, Dusty Jones and Willard back into pass coverage and allowed Tyree to go free from his linebacker position for a rush. So, looks like they got him lined up at the defensive end position now. That's Allegri, the fullback. Yeah, they run away from Tyree that time. He's a, he's a big hard runner, but I don't think they're going to get 16 points off of uh, running up the middle with their fullback. And we got a timeout. 
How much time we got, Key? 52 seconds yeah. left. Scores 30 to 16. And Otter just used their last time out. I think earlier in the game, Tyree uh, split his uniform. Looked like they might have put a patch on it. According to our cameraman, it was in kind of an embarrassing area of the uh, pants. <laughs> of the anatomy. I'm going to wipe my pants on it and you can see right. Uh, I get no respect from our local cameraman. <laughs> Okay. That looks like London's going to move to five and three with their three losses coming against some pretty decent ball clubs. Yeah. In North, looks like looks like all three of those teams are going to make the playoffs. Uh, Northeastern, uh, Big Walnut, and Licking Valley. So we're down to 52 seconds. Uh, 30 to 16. Looks like Loy back to pass. He's got an and arm. He lets one there. go. It's going to be picked off. Oh. I thought Wheeler was going to pick that off, but Nikki got up there to knock it down, so that's going to bring up first down for the Red Raiders. That's two young men going at it uh, pretty stronger, Nikki and Wheeler. Does uh, Nikki play basketball? She Yeah, it looks like we've got to have about two more plays from scrimmage here for the Red Raiders. Providing they take a knee and show a little bit of class here. Yeah, I don't see them crap packing up there, so I don't see that happening. we got Mars to the near side here. Fumble. And like you said, um, to give the ball back, the knee would have been a smart thing to do. The knee would have been the only thing to do in my playbook. <laughs> I don't quite understand that. Who's hurt? Out of timeouts and 7-0. Oh. Uh, apparently, we, we got a player. 78. Hurt Who's number 78 for London? That's, that's uh, um, Brad Gorman. Offensive tackle. He's walking like he's hurt. And the ball goes back over to Alder. 40 seconds to go, first and 10 on the 37 yard line. Oh, so get to see Lloyd's strong arm again. He does throw it good. He's going to pull a little trickery this time. He's going for Page on the near side here. He slipped by one man. That's trouble. That's trouble. He's running hard, Willard. And Willard runs him down from behind. I'll tell you what. And Paige comes off limping. I bet you nine times out of ten, Paige would probably beat Willard in a sprint. But I'll tell you what, Willard wanted him right there. He caught him. No, behind. no, no. No? Paige was dodging people and Willard <laughs> snuck up behind him. He did not run him. Boys back to pass again to Paige. That's and no that's going to call. He, that's a good smart move on the Page's uh, part there trying to make like he didn't uh, make the old shortstop catch there. Mm -hmm. we'll bring up second and ten for Pioneers. Twenty-two seconds. First and ten on the is that first and ten? Yeah, all London had to do down there was take second and ten on take, the twenty nine yards. Take line. two knees in a row and the ball game's over and uh, fumble the football. Now, now Alder's got a chance to put, put one more score in there. We got a second and 10. 30 to 16 is the score right now. Don't have much time left in the game. Boys back to pass. Jordy Jackson. He airs it out. And it's caught. Caught. With 12 seconds to go, down, so they got, they got Nikki stop the goes clock. up. Nikki goes up and got to stop the catch. clock while they set the chain. And they're down there in scoring territory. And Tyree's going off limping. Looks like he might have a hamstring bothering him. Well, yeah, London's not going to get a player in the game. They spike the ball. Flag it. London's going to be called for offside. 
was trying to get a player into the ball game, Coyle, and he didn't get in there quite fast enough. So get a half distance to go. Yeah. So it looked like um, Alder's going to have a chance to score. I don't understand how three seconds ran off. On That's the a play false play, false start on the offense. Uh, oh, that don't sound well. That's what he called. That's not what I thought. Prior to the snap, we get 12 seconds in, right? What? Prior to the snap, goes back to 12 seconds. It should. Not unless the official tells you to. Yeah, that's right. That's a nice thought. Looks like Lloyd's going to go back to pass. He's got a man open. Oh, man. Looks like Dickon was trying to bait him there to... Uh, Try to get the interception and take it back long. So it looks like we have one more play left in the I see Tyree must be okay. He's coming back in the game. As close as they were, I'd have been looking for a touchdown there. Yeah, five seconds to go here. And it's like That's a heck of a play that uh, Nicky made to make to get him down there after that quarterback made such a Lloyd made such a beautiful pass. Oh, well, it's pretty clear Nicky's a pretty talented athlete as far as the reception. That's why I thought he played basketball, but evidently he doesn't. I'll tell you what, London's got nobody covering the man in the slot. They got two of them. Pressure from Jordy. And the game ends. Oh, no, so we got a flag going down on the field, and that's going to be a defensive penalty, so we're going to have one more play here. The game can't end on a defensive penalty. Can't end on any penalty. On the defense, and then I'm out. So I got one more play here with zero time on the clock. So. Try that mic out one more time for the Yeah, London could have taken two knees and this ball game would have been over, but I guess that's the last time I'll say that. I hope it is. <laughs> you hear me, Carl? 30-16 and um, no time on the clock. Alder's knocking on the door. What look, do we do? Nicky on the top of your screen. I'd look for them to try to hit him on a slant. Slant. We're going to the short man. He's in. Touchdown. Touchdown. That should be the ball game. I don't think that you should have an extra point. Game ends up 30 to 22. London on top. After London didn't take a knee when you told him to. Yeah. But bottom line is a win is a win is a win. A win. That's five and three for the Red Raiders this year. Jonathan Alder slips to four and four on the season. So. In the meantime, it's Gary McNeil. Hey, and this is Keith Smith on this Friday the 13th with the full moon and my lucky T-shirt on. And we do have lights on now. Halftime we didn't have. And Carl's picking up the uh, uh, players as they shake hands. It's been a well-fought contest. A lot of mistakes on both sides of the, of the, of the field. So I don't know if London's still in contention to go in, in, into a playoff spot or not. Time will tell. But the bottom line is that they just want to get better. Just got to keep winning football games. And, uh, you know, you know under seven, seven and three on the year sounds a whole lot better than uh, five and five. So. Yeah. And, and we're next, looking at next two weeks will we'll, we'll really tell for Red Raiders as far as the character of this team and what they'll be remembered for. And a completely new staff, so they haven't done too bad. So in the meantime, like I said, it's Gary and Keith and also Carl King who bought you such a good ball game. And so we're going to end this on this note. Uh, Keith, get upstairs and help Carl turn down the equipment. <laughs> I'll be here waiting on you. <laughs> no, as London gives their little victory chant. I noticed the coaches are staying away from it. Thanks, folks, for watching.